In today's video, we're gonna attempt to build a crazy ducted fan. But before we jump into the full build, let's throw together a prototype of the fan blade and housing to see if this thing even stands a chance of working. The motor I'm using is capable of spinning the blade up to 54,000 RPM and spinning a 3D printed fan blade at this speed is no joke. The slightest imbalance or weakness in the print could lead to catastrophic failure. Once the pieces have been printed, we need to refine them, remove the support material, clean up the rough edges and make sure there are no printing errors, especially with the fan blade. Here I'm putting the screws through to attach the coupler to the blade. This will allow us to mount the blade onto the motor shaft precisely and ensure everything is centered and balanced. This is the tiny set screw that's going to lock the coupler onto the motor shaft and ensure the blade stays where it's meant to and hopefully doesn't fly into my face because that would be no fun. Okay, let's start assembling this prototype. We'll start by putting the motor into the housing. I used some more M3 screws to attach the motor to the housing and I made sure to print everything in 100% infill so in the unlikely event that the blade does explode, the outer rim of the housing should contain all of the fragments. We're almost ready to test it. Everything seems to spin freely and without interference, so let's hook up the electronics. Here I'm just connecting a regular RC ESC capable of 120 amps. I'll be using a receiver and a remote control so I can test this thing from a distance until I gain some trust. I barely touched the throttle and this thing sounds crazy. Alright, let's try to hold this thing down. I'm going to try hot glue it onto a piece of plywood I have. Yeah, that didn't work. So I'm going to put some weights down onto the table. RPM on a 3D printed fan blade. That's insane. So I went ahead and designed the whole fan on Fusion 360 and that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead with printing. The first prototype was printed in PLA but I decided to switch to PETG as it's stronger and should be safer. Okay, so same process as before. Let's clean up the pieces and remove all the support material. You can see just how much the blade can flex without cracking, and that's not me even pushing it to the max. Here I'm just using some regular superglue to bond the blade housing to the handle, as printing it in one piece would have just taken too long. Once fully dry, we can move on to assembly. We'll start with the ESC. As you can see, it has its own fan for cooling, but I've made a little slot in the fan housing, so when the wind blows through, it'll actually cool down the ESC as well. It's basically press fit, so we don't even need to glue it into place. Let's move on to the motor. Here you can see the little fins I printed around the motor. This is to help with turbulence. Now I'm just feeding the wires through to the handle, so we can connect it in the handle for a neater look. This is just a 3S LiPo battery. I've printed a specific slot for the battery so it doesn't move around when we're using the fan. Instead of using the remote control and receiver, I'd just be using this servo tester to power the fan. It will basically just apply the throttle whenever I turn the knob. <laughs> 
Since we know it works, let's hot glue it into the casing. The old knob wouldn't have worked, as the mounting hole was just too deep in the casing, so I 3D printed this one. Now to tighten down the blade with the set screw. It's almost done now, just a few finishing pieces left. That's the finished fan, so let's go ahead and test it now. That didn't go so well. Luckily I was wearing safety goggles because this thing cut up my hands and my arms. Anyway, the whole thing's destroyed so we're gonna have to reprint everything. But it's probably not what you were thinking. Let's review the footage. This is the precise moment I messed up. I didn't think the fan blade cup needed to be glued on, but the vibrations loosened it. Here's the reprinted housing. But I didn't attach the handle as I thought it would be a good idea to test its power before. It maxed out its thrust in about a kilogram, but I think it was probably more as the scale was a bit slower updating the weight. And that was at around 944 watts, but this thing maxes out about 1.2 kilowatts. I hope you enjoyed the build. Please leave a like and subscribe for more wacky ideas. And that's it from me now. Enjoy the testing.